Hi, welcome to the course. Before we start the course, let us first get an overview of Kotlin as a programming language, its importance and significance. So in this video, we will basically check out why Kotlin, why not Java? That is, what are the important features which are present in Kotlin but not in Java? And then we will also check out is Kotlin meant to replace Java in future? Well, I guess you know the answer. And also, apart from Android application, what other kind of applications we can build using Kotlin language? So what is Kotlin? Well, Kotlin is a statically typed language and it is also known as the JVM language. Why? Because Kotlin needs the Java virtual machine to execute its bytecode. Similar to other JVM languages, Scala, Java, Jython, JRuby and so on. Since Kotlin is a JVM language, so it is interoperable with other JVM languages which means it is fully interoperable with Java. Since Kotlin is new, so it was developed keeping in mind a lot of features that developers in the real world crave for. Such as it has the support to avoid the null pointer exception, which is again a big headache for the developers if they get this exception. Kotlin also supports immutability. That is, you can declare values inside Kotlin as either values or variables. If they are variables, they can change. And if they are values, then their values is fixed at initialization, just like constants. And of course, Kotlin is an object-oriented language, similar to any other languages that you are familiar with, such as Java or C++. Now, Kotlin from the day one supports the functional programming. That is, it supports lambdas and higher order function. In simple words, it means you can pass a function as a parameter to another function. Like we pass a variable. And even you can return a function from another function. Like we return any other values. And whenever we write code in Kotlin, we follow less ceremony. That is, no more boilerplate codes. We can get the same result with less number of code compared to any other programming language, thereby making our code looks much cleaner. Now let us have a look at the Kotlin timeline, that is the evolution of Kotlin language. Now Kotlin was unveiled by JetBrains in July 2011, though it was under development since one year. JetBrains believed most of the languages do not have the features that developers in practical scenarios crave for. So they come up with a new JVM language known as Kotlin. And the name Kotlin is basically taken from the name of island known as Kotlin. And soon after that in year 2012, Kotlin was made open sourced by JetBrains. After continuous effort of development process, the most stable version of Kotlin was released in Feb 2016. And since then, JetBrains has committed long-term backward compatibility with this version. And one of the most important and one of the most significant event in Kotlin timeline was May 2017, where at Google I.O. Kotlin was officially declared as an adopted language for Android application development along with Java. So this was the most spectacular event in the history of Kotlin. Now in the last few years, Kotlin is getting a lot of attention and it is being embraced by developers worldwide due to its outstanding features. You don't trust me? Here is the proof. This is the stack overflow trend and check out the sudden spike in the Kotlin adoption. And it is expected to increase exponentially in upcoming years. And because of outstanding features of Kotlin, there are hundreds of applications already built on Kotlin, ranging from startups to Fortune 500 companies. Few of them are extremely popular and well, you might identify a few of them here, such as Slack, Evernote, Pinterest and so on and so forth. Proceeding, you might be wondering what kind of applications that you can create using Kotlin. Well, you can use Kotlin for server-side development, such as you can use it in any framework such as Spring Boot, Vertex, JSF and Ktor. Of course, Kotlin is widely being used for Android development at present, so no doubt here. 
and you can use it for web development as well as it is able to target the JavaScript. Not only this, it is even compatible with existing module system such as AMD and CommonJS. Apart from backend and frontend, Kotlin can be effectively used to create desktop applications using the JavaFX. We even have Kotlin specific frameworks for creating the desktop applications such as Tornado FX. Last but not the least, Kotlin can be used to create native applications by using Kotlin native library, which at the time of making this video is under preview version. So with this you can make out how important is Kotlin for any kind of application development. So that's all for this video. In the next video we will check out how to install the softwares on Mac, Windows as well as Linux.